Hi guys, welcome to another audio video and I'm reading Jude 1 of the King James Version Bible and it reads, Jude the servant of Jesus Christ, the brother of James, to them that are sanctified by God the Father and preserved in Jesus Christ and called, mercy unto you and peace and love be multiplied. Beloved, when I give all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it is needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. For there are certain men crept in unawares, who were before the, of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men, turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness, and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believed not. And the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah, and the cities about them is like manner, in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise also, these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignities. Yet Michael the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses, durst not bring against him a railing accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke thee. But these speak evil of those things which they know not, but what they know naturally are as brute beasts in those things they corrupt themselves. Woe unto them, for they have gone in the way of Cain, and ran greedily after the error of Balaam for reward, and perished in the gainsaying of Kor. These are spots in your feast of charity, when they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear, clothes they are without water, carried about of winds, trees whose fruit withereth, without fruit twice dead, plucked up by the roots, raging waves of the sea, foaming out their own shame, wandering stars, to whom is reserved the blackness of darkness for ever. And Enoch also the seventh from Abraham from Adam, sorry guys. En and Enoch also the seventh from Adam prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints, to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed, and of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. These are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lust, and their mouth speaketh great swelling words, having men's persons in admiration because of advantage, but beloved. Remember ye the words which were spoken before the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ, how that they told you there should be mockers in the last time who should walk after their own ungodly loss. These be they who separate themselves, sensual having not the spirit. But ye, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, Speaking, keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life, and of some have compassion, and of some have compassion, making a difference, and others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire, eating even the garments spotted by the flesh. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling. And to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy.
to the only wise God or Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen. Hi right, guys, so in this chapter, we're encouraged to wait on the Lord. We're encouraged to wait on the coming of the Lord, to be to ensure that we are not caught we're not caught unaware but we continue to walk in the way of god so that when jesus christ do do come then we will be faultless and we'll be able to be with him right and we're told here also of the fact that people jesus am i saying jesus sorry guys we're told of the fact that even though god delivered the people of the people of israel right the israelites out of egypt he still condemned those that did not believe in him that did not truly believe in him they also came to condemnation and faced their punishment right and so we see that god will always punish the unrighteous and reward the righteous and we see the reward being that even when the devil went to um to get the bones of moses the archangel Gabriel, Michael himself, what am I saying Gabriel? Michael himself, right? The archangel Michael himself came and he rebuked the devil, right? So we know that Moses lived in accordance with God, righteous, right? He did err by smiting instead of speaking to the stone as God wanted him to do so that God's power could manifest before the Israelites. But other than that, he followed the will of God. He, his punishment was not entering into the promised land. All right? But that does not say that he will not enter into the promised land, being the land of God. He will be a saint. So, it appears that Satan misconstrued the fact that Moses did not get to enter into Canaan, the promised land, as God had promised to the Israelites, right? And took it, mistook it for the fact that Moses was still entered into the kingdom of God, right? And so we see that God does reward those that walk in his light. And so we need to continue to build upon our Christian faith. Sorry about that, guys. We need to continue to build upon our Christian faith, building up ourselves through prayer, through fasting, through fellowship, even through testifying because your testimony is very impactful, guys. It helps to remind you of the goodness of God. Okay, that's what your testimonies do. They remind you. And likewise, there are many testimonies throughout the Bible, right? Throughout the scriptures. All these are basically testimonies, testimonies of others, testimonies of those that were there and saw what God, what Jesus did when he was on the face of the earth. People were there who testified of the things that they saw happening around them, the goodness of God. The works of God that they actually witnessed for themselves all right so these are all testimonies they help to remind us of the goodness of God so guys I'm gonna encourage you all to just continue to walk in your salvation and if you've not yet gained it then seek it there's no better time to begin than the present have yourselves a blessed day bye